Okay, so today I was going to take my cat to the vet, but unfortunately they had no time, so now I'll have to wait till tomorrow, and she's already been sick for two days, and I think she has a bladder infection again. She had a bladder infection in May, and a month later she got it again. I got her medicine for it though, but I don't know, it just didn't work because, I mean, it went away, but a month later it came back. And so I still had some medicine for her, so I gave it to her again a week long, as, you know, the instructions tell you to. And, you know, now it's another month later. Now it's, it's, uh, it's July. Oh, people are talking to me on Skype. Shh. <laughs> but unfortunately, the infection has come back again, so now I'm going to take her to the vet. And I hope she gets better because I just feel really bad for her because she just pees blood. This may be TMI, but it's not healthy anyway, so that'll be fun to vlog, I guess. <laughs> Probably not. If you've ever been to the vet with a cat, you may understand that they can give you a hard time um, meowing the entire way there. I... I personally have to take her to the vet on my bicycle, which makes it even harder because, you know, if you live in America or something, you can just uh, travel with the car, most likely, <laughs> in 99.9% .9 of the cases, but here, where I live, everyone cycles, so I don't think my cat likes such. My name is Deutsche. Hey. She's not exactly happy right now. I don't blame her for it. She has to wait 24 more hours. 24 hours till I can take her to the vet. That's my day at the moment. Oh, by the way, the boxes, whoa, light. <laughs> well, the boxes are because I'm moving. My room is a mess. Do not judge me, please. <laughs> these are boxes. It looks, it's more organized than it looks. I mean, these boxes are full of paper stuff I am going to throw away. And these plastic bags are full of plastic that I'm going to recycle. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to recycle the paper as well, so. Yeah. I was just going to tell you guys a little bit about this channel. It's called Robel because um, my name is Isabel and my boyfriend's name is Robin. And basically this channel is going to be uh, our life. Um, we're high school sweethearts and... Now we're going to a university and we're going to move out and live together, move in together. And um, I decided and Robin agreed that it will be fun to vlog our lives um, for you guys, but also for us so we can uh, look back on our lives in the future. I mean, I, I wish I had more videos of myself when I was younger. I'd, I'd really like to look back on it and remember stuff so I'm not making that same mistake again so that's another reason why we were vlogging and um, honestly I just love watching vlogs on YouTube and I try to find someone on YouTube that's our age um, that has a relationship and moved out and whatnot but pretty much non-existent. Uh, I did find some young um, girls that got pregnant and stuff, but that's not the same in my opinion. So, yeah, I think this is also something new for YouTube and uh, hopefully it's interesting. Um, well, 
also do a draw my life. We'll each do a draw my life if we haven't already done so. Uh, so you guys can kind of see how we got here and whatnot. And basically that's what this channel is about. So right now we're going to take Dutch to the bed. And um, well, we'll see how this turns out. It works out. Whatever. So far she's not meowing, she's not complaining, etc. Robin is outside walking the dog because uh well, we have to walk the dog before we take Dutch to the vet, so she doesn't have any accidents. Uh, so yeah. This is Dutch. I don't think she know what's going on. But that's okay. I think it's best that she doesn't know. So she doesn't flip. And we'll see how it goes on the bicycle. On our way to the vet. Our appointment is in 30 minutes. So I think it's about... Takes about 15 minutes to cycle or something. So we'll be leaving soon. I'll keep you guys updated. So, right now we're cycling, and so far so good. She's not exactly meowing. She seems to trust me, which I like. And go. <laughs> this is harder than it looks. It's harder than it looks. Oh my god, I don't like the lighting. Anyways, I just put her in the basket, and she doesn't seem to mind whatsoever. So we just got back from the vet and basically they tested her urine and apparently she has something to do with stones in her urine and so we got some food and medicine and yeah. This is what she has. Struvite stones or something. I, I wouldn't even know how to pronounce that, but basically that's what she has and she has to eat this food for um six weeks. And we have another cat at home, which is kind of a problem because this food is expensive and the doctor told us to feed it to both cats since um, my cat is not allowed to eat anything but this. Just nothing. Only this for six weeks. And that's kind of complicated. A bag of this is very expensive. It's only one and a half kilograms. So yeah, we're not all too pleased about that, but at least we know what's going on and at least we can make her better, hopefully. Um, the doctor said that in some cases um, a cat will have to go on this diet for the rest of their lives, which obviously I don't want price-wise, and I just I want to be able to give her sweets, candies, you know, for um, when she's good and stuff, just to please her, just to make her happy. And it sounds to me that I can't give her anything to make her happy with the move when she's stressed out anyway and um, the doctor told us to get her urine tested in six weeks again and see if it worked but yeah that's basically what happened so yeah this is the other cat I was telling you about it's my brother's cat she seems to be interested in the camera <laughs> Look how cute Robin is. He's packing all my nail polish for me. All oh, my nail polish. 
I have too much. We're packing. It's a mess. And that's just relaxing. Picture. Picture. Not impressed. Isn't that sweet? He's packing it for me. And now she stops. She feels watched.